guys, Emily here from Handmade with Love. I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today I am going to be packaging up some mail for, for a new pal who is Matea. She is mini scrapper on YouTube and I will link her Instagram down below so that you guys can check her out. She's super talented and makes beautiful things, so I'm really excited to be swapping with her. I've already got her swap in the mail, but I have not yet opened it. I'm waiting so that I can send out her mail so that way I don't feel as bad. I'm sure you guys have been in the same position before, but yeah, I'm just feeling a little stressful with swaps and stuff, so I do appreciate her patience, and I know that it has taken me a while, so I just want to go ahead and package this up on camera with you guys, um, but everything is laid out except for this right here, which I just packaged up. Um, and I am just going to try to fit it all into this little like shoe sized box that I get from Michaels. These usually go on sale for like two to three dollars. So it's pretty cheap alternative to um, using like fancy boxes and stuff like that. So let me get some tissue paper to put in the bottom of this and then we'll start get started packaging everything up. So I am switching it up today a little bit and using some blue wrapping paper. Most of the packaging that is going to be going inside of here is pink, so I thought that I would just try to balance that out a little bit with some pink tissue paper. Um, so let me start with the larger item, which is here. This is the Standout Willow Lane um, stickers. Um, I wish that I could show you guys, but this is my last set that I had. But um, I know that she doesn't have too much of this collection. She commented on one of my YouTube videos in the past. And so I just wanted to um, send her some stuff from this collection. So that's what that is. And then next I have this package. We'll go ahead and put this one in there since it's pretty large too. So these are the clear accent stickers from the Willow Lane collection. And then I also have the Willow Lane ephemera in here. And I just decorated this little bag using some, um, I fussy cut some of the butterflies from the paper and then I just used a piece of ephemera. And I think it turned out cute. This bag is actually from Faithy. If you guys watched one of my more recent videos where I opened mail from her, you will recognize it. I just trimmed it down a little bit so that I could reuse it. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna put these underneath this I think and I always end up fidgeting things around a little bit once I get off camera so I have this really really chunky flip book which I'm kind of nervous about like whether or not it's all gonna fit in here so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna try my best to get it in there So that does fit on top of it. Um, so let's just continue here. And here I have some paper ruffles. And I don't have a video on these, but I do have some pictures on my Instagram if you want to see more pictures up close. But I just love making these little ruffles. They're so cute. And they're really fun embellishments for like flip books or to um, re-gift. And this cute bag is actually from Maddie. She sent me this um, about a year ago in a swap, and I have been holding on to it since, trying to find a way to use it, and these paper ruffles fit in here perfectly. So I'm going to set these on the side here. Pretty flexible. So we'll keep that there for now. Next, I have some rosettes. I do have a video on these rosettes that I will link down below. It was a um, process video, so you can watch me decorate them on camera if you would like. But I just packaged them up in a little vellum envelope. Um, I added some washi tape on the back and a little sticker, and then added some sequins to the vellum. And everything's kind of the same size, which is not a good sign, but this will actually fit right here, I think. So. This is probably one of my more hectic um, package with me videos because normally I have a very large box and not that many things but today I have a very small box with a lot of things so we're gonna see how this goes and I'm just going to be continually rearranging stuff as I put it in there because that's real life you know so these are some little shakers that I made and I just used vellum and stitched them closed. I kept the fronts of them really simple so that way you could still see the sequins on the inside. And then this little vinyl pockets, 
was actually a um, Christmas pocket that I got sent to by Kayla. What I did was I just made it a little bit smaller so I cut across the bottom and I emptied the sequins out and saved them for Christmas since there were like snowflakes and stuff in there. And then I just added my own sequin mix to match this collection and um, sewed it back shut using kind of a similar thread. So I definitely didn't do as good of a job stitching this as Kayla did, um, but I think it still turned out sh turned out really cute, and I love being able to reuse packaging, so that's always a good feeling. So hopefully Matea can reuse that too. Next I have some little handmade tabs that I made. I have this one right here. I do have pictures of these on my Instagram if you want to see them more up close. Since they are already packaged, there's a little bit of a glare, so I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, same thing, just use some stickers, chipboard from the collection, lots of little buttons and pom-poms. I have a little sequin mix here. I love reusing the little Felicity Jane jars that they send you whenever you get like little embellishments. I use them to package up sequins that match the collection. So this is the sequin mix that I used all throughout. So I used it on this pouch um, and all of the packaging. I used it in the shakers as well. So it's very cohesive, which I love. And I hope that she will like this sequin mix and get some use out of it as well. So in this package, I just have some of those paper ruffles again. I will show you. Let me actually clip this here so that the tassel will stay. But I just have a ton of undecorated paper ruffle embellishments. Um, it's very therapeutic for me to stitch these, so I normally make a bunch. And since I didn't end up decorating them all, I hope that she will use some of the things that I'm sending her and make her own little embellishments. And then to package this up, I just used um, some leftover bits from the collection. So I have a tag, um, this ephemera piece, some stickers, and then some, um, just a few pieces of trim to bring some um, brightness to it and kind of tie everything together. So that's what that looks like. And I think I'm gonna put this underneath here. And then the last item that I will be shipping off to Matea is this flip book. Um, this is a Willow Lane flip book. There are some goodies in here as well. And it is super, super chunky. Um, I do have a separate video on this. It's just a project share. It's really short. It's like three or four minutes if you do want to see everything that is inside of here. Since I already tied it up, I'm just going to um, spare myself from having to retie that. I hope that you guys don't mind. And if you are interested, um, I have a video and then I also have some pictures on my Instagram of all the pages on this so you guys can check that out as well if you are interested and this is the last item so we're going to have to figure out how to make this work I think what I might do off camera is just cut off this little um, like holder for the standouts and then that way it'll fit like this. So unfortunately the packaging that I had on this is not going to work just because everything is getting pretty full in here. So I'm just going to um, fold the little top handle down a bit so that way I can squeeze this in here like that. And that way the flip book will fit right on top. Look at that, perfect fit. <laughs> I love when that happens. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for bearing with me through this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.